Hello, Stephanie and Roy. I'm going to show you the inside of this unit. It is 840 square feet. It is considerably smaller than the last ones. It doesn't have the extra bedroom. Um, right when you, you know, enter the door, which we just walked through, uh, you're going to see the mirrors, kind of uh, reflective uh, of, the, of the place. It kind of keeps it from looking too small, but when you open it up, it's basically your hall closet, which they have their cleaning supplies in. Okay. Goes all the way back. Chair, ladder. You have uh, plenty of uh, places to hang and, and store stuff in here. Okay. So that's what that looks like pulled together. That is your hall closet. And of course, you walk in and you see your dining area on the left, along with the living room, and then on the right, you know, little little foyer area here. And the kitchen is on the right. It's rather a, you know, it's the, probably the appropriate size kitchen for this place. It looks like it's been upgraded with the cabinets and the uh, fan and the dome lighting has been taken out for the insets. And it looks really, really nice. They put a nice little cart here. I'm going to walk into the kitchen. Here we go. Okay, you have uh, actually a lot of cabinetry for such a smaller kitchen. Okay. But enough for a refrigerator, dishwasher, range, microwave. Um, it could be enough to eat in if you had a small table and two chairs would be a little tight but you could probably swing it however uh, it is best to put maybe shelving or something right here in this space they put a nice little cart there to hold um, miscellaneous things because your eat out your eating area would basically be right here okay all right here is the living area Again, nicely done. Okay. And it is a view of the garage, but it is facing the opposite way than what you saw before with the others. It does not face the river. It faces the opposite direction. Okay. And right here they put a nice little desk, which I'm sure is their computer spot. Okay, so now let's take a look at this view. I'm gonna pull the curtains back just a little bit. Oops, that's the wrong way. Okay. There we go. Okay, they put a little nice decal on there. Hey, we just had a big rain, so there's a little bit of water on the porch. Hey, and you do have a partial river view from here. It's mostly the garage spaces at the front of the building. You are literally above the entrance. The entrance of the building is right here. Okay. And there's the river beyond the trees. Okay, you're that close, a stone's throw. Okay, and then here's the storage closet. I don't know if we can get in there, but we'll try. Oh, there we go. And that's where they store all their patio furniture. They've got a nice shelf in here and some miscellaneous things. Okay, now walking from the living room. Okay, you're running into two closets here. The first one is your linen closet. Okay. Okay. 
The second one is your air handler and your water heater. I really don't see a date on there. I was looking for wait. It says 7 2006. So this is 2006. Okay. And I really don't know what the this one is. Because it doesn't have a date. But that's your water heater. Okay. And here is your bathroom. Okay. And there's two baths in here. This is the guest bath. Okay, not really anything in here. It's just enough for uh, a toilet and a vanity. Hello. All right, and then here is the master bedroom. It looks like you've got a king size bed in here. Two end tables, it's a pretty big space. Okay, and then walking on this side, you have enough for a nice large dresser, which they have a small TV on. And of course, this is the other half of the lanai that we were just on, okay, where you can set out there and look at the river. While you're on your porch. Okay. You're walking around the bed, going into the bathroom. You have two walk-in closets, well, they're not walk-in closets, they're two standard closets that you could probably double hang to maximize your space. And of course, they have the full panel mirror on there, so they're better than a bifold, they're the sliding doors. Okay. This one had the hangers and the ironing board. And I was looking for the washer and dryer, and guess where I found it? In this next set of doors. It is a condo washer and dryer. But it might be a big enough space to put the stackables in here because above this you have still at least another foot of space for a full-size washer and dryer that's stackable. Okay, and then here you have the tub. It is a full-size tub with shower condo, a combo. There you go. They have lovely curtains here with palm trees. And then here is the toilet with uh, the rack above it holding the towels. And then you have a single sink single vanity sink with space underneath it for miscellaneous or maybe your uh, laundry baskets or a waste scale or whatever you wish to put in there. Okay. So let's close these doors too. And they do slide quite nicely. This unit does look like it's in pretty excellent condition. The fans are nice. Um, the furniture is a little dated, but you know, since you're not going to be in here consistently for a while, it'll probably do for those people who are visiting. Um, this little thing here, this table, looks like it used to have glass on it, but this would certainly hold suitcases if you were renting this out to people visiting. Again, the guest bath, air handler, and then the closet. Then walking out here about two paces, here's the living room. Okay. 
the dining area. Nice little something something on the wall. And again, the kitchen. Like I said, all the fans in here are beautiful, so clearly they've upgraded those. Clearly it is an upgraded kitchen with granite counters. I don't know if you got a good look at that granite, but it's, it's pretty nice. And these are indeed upgraded cabinets. Let's put the fridge here. Freezer, up, up uh, the upper portion is the freezer. And of course the lower portion, they have the vegetable holder, so it's a little bit, you know, more than your standard. looks like fairly new appliances this is Frigidaire you have a GE washer this looks fairly new it's not rusted or anything it looks like it's you know probably bought in the last three or four years maybe two or three years and here's the range Frigidaire microwave in range. And it's glass top. And of course they kept that oven nice and clean. There's not an inch of dirt on there. It looks really good. Clean as a whistle. I will ask if the furniture comes with it. I think I read it did, but I'd like to double check. Because if that's the case, then you're good to go and you're all set. And they did say that they were motivated sellers and bring all offers. I don't think you want to lowball them too much, but it's always a place for a conversation, right? Oh, well, there you go. There you have it. This is Unit 303 in Schooner Bay. So I hope you enjoyed the mini tour. Um, you already know what the outside looks like, and it's kind of getting towards dusk, so I won't be able to take too many outdoor pictures. But I hope I took enough uh, that you could see um, what it looks like. It's not as big as the other units because it is only 840 square feet, but it's big enough for two. All right, here you go, and I'll talk to you soon.